Hey guys, welcome to another video for my creative year. So this month in my creative year, besides the daily words that we're working on, we're working on forgotten colors, using those paint supplies and materials that you have stuffed in the corners of your art room that you've forgotten, that you've never used, that you don't use often, that you have never tried, um, or that you've just you know forgotten about. Maybe they're not even just your favorite colors. Um, and it could be materials like acrylic paint or watercolor that you use a lot, but maybe there's just certain colors you just never use and you forgot or even in your palette, which happened to me recently when I was painting with this. And I was like, wait, quinacridone coral? When did I get that? <laughs> so I'm gonna work on a painting um, in my watercolor journal um, with color specifically in my Daniel Smith um, palette here that I almost never use. And you can tell which ones they are because this one looks freshly poured if you zoom in. Oops, let's go the other way. That looks freshly poured, that peak is still on there. And you can also tell with, this one is phthalo yellow green. And I just saw another one, where'd it go? New Gamboge, I don't use often. Uh, and Quinacridone Sienna. So we're gonna create, we're gonna see, we're, I'm gonna stay away from the ones that have a hole in the middle, because obviously I use that one a lot. That one's cobalt blue violet, which I love. Um, we're gonna stay away from those, and we're gonna just use the ones that I don't use much. We're gonna create a painting, we're gonna see where it takes us, and I don't know, I'll be back. Okay, as we get ready to do the painting, well, first of all, let me get rid of the overhead light, because hello, lot of shadow. Oh. That's better. All right, um, as we get ready to do the painting, the first thing and probably usually hardest thing for me is what am I gonna paint? So as I do that, I'm gonna go through my camera roll here. Yes, I'm constantly taking pictures of things, whether it's artwork or things I see on my walk or there was a sneak peek of stuff you aren't supposed to see it. Um, so let's see what we can find to paint. You know, that might inspire an interesting painting. This is a, a picture of um, one of the neighborhoods near here when we were out walking um, not long ago. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that. What I'm gonna do first is set my phone to not turn off because there's nothing worse than having to touch your phone every two seconds. I'm gonna turn it this way to orient it differently. Okay, and I'm gonna set it up there, sort of. It's gonna be off camera. Oops, I lost my picture, where'd it go? There it is. I'm gonna prop it up. I do have stuff like actual things that I could. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, nope. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna use colors in my stash of stuff that I don't normally use to create this interesting painting. I'm gonna give everything a light wash of, I have Naples yellow in here and it in this palette. I don't use it that much. I do like Naples yellow in acrylic paint. For some reason in watercolor, I just don't use it that much. So we're gonna grab some Naples yellow and I'm gonna put that on the page. And then I'm gonna add some water. I just want a, like a light wash of color. I think I wanna add little touches of maybe a blue. Do I have a blue I don't use very much? Yes, I do, which is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Um, it's a fine color, it's a fine paint. I'm not sure why I bought it because I also have cobalt teal and the color is nearly identical. So <laughs> I don't know why I bought it. So we're gonna put a little bit of that on. That's probably way too much. And then I'm gonna, again, add water. And then we're gonna take the dryer to it. Okay, 
we're gonna take a little bit brighter yellow. I have New Gamboge, which I also don't use much. I can always tell because there's no hole in the top of the paint pan. And I'm gonna put some here, and here, and here, and here. Yep. And then again, we're gonna go in with just a little bit of water. And while that's drying, I'm gonna take um, what color, what color, what color? I think I'm gonna take, because so we're looking for ones I don't use much, right? So I have a Quidocridone Burnt Scarlet. Again, it's in my palette, I should use it. It's a very rusty red color. And I'm gonna mix it with one I know I don't use much, which is ivory black. I usually go for Payne's gray or neutral tint. I'm gonna mix a little bit of that with the Kodokodone Burnt Scarlet. Let's put a little bit more Scarlet in there. Oh, that was too much. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing mixing-wise. There we go. So we'll grab some more black, uh, yeah. That's better. Okay, so we're gonna sort of try to put the suggestion of the straight in. Okay, again, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna Go along one edge of those colors and I'm gonna just blur it out just a little bit. I'm gonna take that same color, I'm gonna add some more black to it. Going to let's see, make sure I don't put too much right there. Whatever we um, put too much dark, we can always go back and add white gel pen. Oh, I could also use Chinese white, which I have in my palette. I don't use often. Kind of don't see the point in white watercolor paint. Don't know why I have it. Because, see, it doesn't really show up, and especially because these background colors are very light. Okay, let's see. Let's put some water in it and see what happens. Um, okay, let's go for, let's go for some of that coral color. It's very, very, very pigmented, so that's probably way too much of it. And, you know, I'm just using the photo as inspiration. I am not looking to exactly copy the photo. Am I looking to suggest the shapes? Yes. But I'm not looking to copy the photo. And I have the additional challenge of trying to do this um, and use colors outside the norm. That doesn't mean I'm not going to use some of my regular colors, but it means I'm going to use some that I wouldn't normally do. 
So we have this green that I almost never use. There is a little suggestion of green in some parts. I don't know what I want to blur these out too much. I think I want to leave some shape to them. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I want to take some of this color, bring it over here, and just use the tip of my brush. Let's see, Let's see, to suggest the light poles. It's really the light in the shadowy night um, that really is appealing to me about this painting. to blend this out. I may end up adding purple to this because I really like to use purple as a dark shadow color instead of the obvious choice of black. I also like to use navy. Oh, I have a new navy blue here. This is brand new. I haven't used it much because it's brand new. Um, it is Indoth Indothrone Blue. It's that. Oops, where are we? It's that one. I got no idea how to pronounce that. Let's add some of that. Oh yeah. I'm working mostly wet on wet, so the colors are blending together, which I'm fine with. I'm trying to suggest my shapes. I love this dark blue. Okay, let's give that a try. take a, you know, I always grab the black. Let's grab the lighter brown pencil, which I never have used, and I have a white pencil, <laughs> right? Because it's about grabbing things, using things we don't ever use, right? Okay, but the white pencil is not going to show up on here. I need, what do I need? I need like a white gel pen, which is right here. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. That's also not showing up very well. Let's see. Might still be a little damp, might be why. Let's, let's try some white paint, shall we? Um, I'm just gonna grab a brush.
You know, I like the abstract nature of that, and I'm gonna stop. That's part of the hardest part about doing art is knowing when to stop, and I like the suggestion of light and color there. This is the, let's zoom out just a little bit. Whoops, wrong way. This is the original. What I liked about this photo is the light and the reflections, which I think I captured here, or at least it's a good start. Um, I like to do little practice pieces like this from a photo like this one, and then if I like where this went, then I would try it on a bigger piece of paper, which I might eventually do with this one. Anyway, I want you to go out this month and I want you to work with your forgotten colors, your forgotten paints and materials, and really stretch your wings and try something new. Maybe try something that's a little abstract. I'm gonna include a copy of this photo over in the Facebook group, My Creative Year, um, for any and all who are members of the group that wanna give it a try and see what you come up with. Um, I could see really doing something very abstracted with this photo and this painting uh, in acrylic on canvas would be really cool. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Like, share, and subscribe if you will. There's the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. They're all listed in the description below, including my Etsy store, Patreon, YouTube membership, uh, PayPal tip jar, all that stuff. So check it out. Check out that video description. And um, the most important thing is to go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.